<laughs> We're at the Vancouver Resources Investment Conference 2014 in Vancouver, Canada. And with me I have Ian Lambert, who's the Chief Operating Officer for Grizzly Discoveries. Welcome, Ian. Thanks very much, yeah. Tim. Thanks for having me here yeah. today. Yeah. It's a, a terrific day in Vancouver today. Everyone's telling me warm. It's a, not usually this warm this time of year. Yeah, it's lovely here. Uh, we're very fortunate because rainy, rainy season off is, happens around this time of the year in Vancouver. So it's a pleasure to be out and enjoy the beautiful country they have here. And it's a wonderful conference. Now listen, Ian, tell us about Grizzly Resources. What's the asset? Uh, Grizzly has actually a, a three different assets and um, when I got involved in about a year ago with this company they were kind of floundering a little bit and they didn't have a lot of focus but what I discovered in the company and what originally attracted me was a large potash project along the Alberta Saskatchewan border and I thought that the potash project was exceptional in its size and scope and potential and so I came in to get involved with that side of things. After I was in the company I found out that they also had some excellent projects uh, with gold, silver, copper and other metals properties in British Columbia that I really didn't uh, give much credence to when I first got involved but after I looked into them I found out that they have great promise, promise as well. So you're a, you're a multi-commodity, you've got potash, gold, silver? Yes, uh, an associate of mine said sounds like three companies to me but the opportunity of course is that this company has uh, three different distinct areas and the third area is a diamond project in northern Alberta and that, that is actually an area that we've already developed seven kimberlite pipes and uh, three of them are diamondiferous and two need to be bulk sampled. So um, this company has a lot of opportunities and as the markets come back and these areas gain more interest, this company has a tremendous upside. So in terms of any of those assets, are more, some more developed than, the, uh, than others or is, say for example the well, potash? I think that what's quicker? happened in, in uh, many junior companies, they get an area of focus that's, mm -hmm. that's the uh, flavor of the day and, and so uh, when the diamonds were in vogue, they had a diamond project and when that kind of fell by the wayside and interest changed, they went off into gold. Uh, the gold markets have been kind of sad over the last little while and they're starting to come back. But Meanwhile, the company had this opportunity to get this large land position in potash claims that nobody had bothered to uh, take, take up before. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, they said, well, let's spend some money in potash. So they've spent money in each of these areas over the last several years, and they've been able to develop good showings in each of those areas, but they haven't yet got it to a resource level. So right now, the focus is to bring all that into... Yeah, and, and, and narrow down each of those areas and say, where's the priorities for the company? to take the limited amount of financial resources that are available to us right now and get the best return for our invested expiration dollars. So that sounds like a fairly good opportunity for an investor. You've got a large range, multi-commodity assets. You're refocusing, developing the value, and then, then I guess the valuation would be worthwhile for investors to get involved with. Well, exactly, and, and in this market, there's a lot of opportunity for an investor to get involved because uh, all of the values of these companies are at ridiculously low multiples. Uh, you know, our value is actually under $2 million market capitalization. Uh, we've spent uh, 10 or $12 million just on resource exploration so far. So the value, and we've got good showings in many of these regions. So the value, it does not reflect the real, the market value does not reflect the real value of this company. So it's a great opportunity to investors to come into a company like this and pick up shares really cheap and, and participate but with just, us over the next few years. In the growth and the as, growth. You, as you bring those assets to market. Well, yeah. um, Ian, you've got a website. Yes, it is www.grizzlydiscoveries.com. Grizzlydiscoveries.com. And that's the name of the company, Grizzly Discoveries. And your ticket code on the TS? As GZD. GZD. Yeah, and we're and also, also Frankfurt and OTC as well. Yes, as well. And don't ask me to quote their, their technical symbols. <laughs> okay, just watch Grizzly Discoveries. www.grizzlydiscoveries.com. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Thank Tim. you very yeah. much, Ian. Yeah, yeah pleasure indeed.